I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you... My lovely, lovely imps, and all of my legion haters. As we all know, the second official Hippy Dippy Rumble is coming this Friday, and the cast of competitors is as spicy as it's ever been. Of course I'm going to be there. But we've also got the MILF Hunter Xander Hall, who's going to finally get a taste of what it's like when the MILF hunts back. We've got the good doctor, Dr. Heemed. You might want to turn the beard cam off for this one, bud. It's not going to be pretty, all right? Hope you're ready. We've got a walking, talking cartoon performer by the name of Eric. Sorry, <clears throat> critically thinking veteran who I hope brought a lot of trees because he's going to need a walk in the woods after this one. We got Prime Kai's who's going to finally get an opportunity to argue without moderating getting in the way. We got counterpoints. I'm sure he'll be uh, painting some new models. Maybe he'll even finish one this time. If you watch close enough, you might even be able to catch the paint dry. How exciting. Now we've got somebody who's really exciting to have on here. We got Trihex, the legend, Trihex, the legend of gaming. This is my domain, buddy. This ain't a gaming space. Sorry. And of course, we shouldn't finish without talking about Hunter Avalon, who most recently baited Mike from PA into fighting well above his weight class, resulting in a one-sided bloodbath. But you know what? A win is a win. So respect to Hunter where it's due. There isn't much left of Mike after that, but you did a good job anyway. But speaking of people who are punching above their weight class, let's talk about old Sour Grape Steve. Let's talk about the Omni-Liberal himself. Let's talk about Destiny for a minute. This is a fellow who most recently is known for soy facing into his phone while on vacation with his family, just churning out bangers like you're fat and uh, you're mentally ill. Damn, good one, buddy. You see, Destiny has given us a definitive answer to the question, are you mad? Yes, yes, he's very, very mad. He's been mad for eight years months when he got his ass so trounced by yours truly that he still to this day hasn't uploaded the debate on his own channel so i guess we're gonna find out if you can win a hippy dippy with popularity alone because we all know that destiny ain't bringing talent to the hippy dippy and he certainly isn't bringing effort to the hippy dippy but the rest of us are I hope that we get to see some cool promos because it'd be a real shame if I'm the only one shooting a promo for this event. But again, what can I say? I got a lot of love for the Hippy Dippy. I got a lot of love for our corrupt businessman who uh, stole the title from Vosh. But I gotta thank Dylan at the end of the day because yeah, he stole it from Vosh. Yeah, he, he, he made drama on a technicality. He made a whole lot of shit all on a silly technicality but it gives me an opportunity to try for the belt again. The belt that of all the people on this panel, I have strived the hardest for. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And guess what? No matter who wins, I win. Because you know that no matter who walks away with that belt at the end, no matter what secret special guests are brought in to, to pump up all the cash and pump those donos through the roof, you know that it's gonna be me who makes the show. It's gonna be me who gets the chat bumping. Because I always do. So I'll see you this Friday at the Hippy Dippy Rumble. Much love from all the imps.